beacon. Hello everybody, welcome to Minecraft Land Party. The thing is, when you have a beacon, you kind of want to use it. So, you know, haste 2 and an efficiency 5 pick. Yeah, so I dug out an area. Didn't really need to. Wasn't really part of the plan, just kind of happened. Uh, um, it took several picks, but... And this is what 70,000 blocks looks like. Wow. Um, yeah, so I don't... Uh, I have a lot of space down here. Don't entirely know what I'm going to do with it. I, uh... I planted some trees just to make sure they would fit in the space that I was looking at. I'm trying to do some birch trees. Made a little uh, micro farm here. Uses the fact that there's no light on here to make the crops pop off, but it doesn't happen before they grow. So this actually works really nicely. It's super simple. It's better than the one I had upstairs. And uh, yeah, one thing I found is that the there's at least a couple slime chunks in here. According to the slime chunk finder I found, there's two and there's two right here. I marked them out. Boop and boop. And uh and there's one partial one over there, but I'm not sure I believe it because I've seen them spawn elsewhere. I've seen them over here a lot and I've seen them kind of off over here. And I don't know if I'm just not seeing them until they move around a bit. I don't know. But it seems that uh, coming down here and running around and killing the slimes. Oh, I didn't really need that. Um, yeah, it turns out uh, it's actually more productive to run around here and kill them than, than to go over to the slime farm. Probably because if there are three chunks in here, that kind of makes sense. But anyway... Um, I kind of have plans for the space down here. I'm not quite sure what. Um, the beacon is all iron and emerald. The beacon pyramid. This was kind of painful. Um, doing a lot of villager trading to get this much emerald. Um, I'm trying to replace it all. And I want to get enough to build another beacon. I'm thinking put another one out this way. And dig out another area over there. This area was largely, as you can see here, was largely my mining space. So I didn't get that many resources. I got an unbelievable amount of stone. And, uh, yeah, a lot of stone. I did get some stuff. All the iron and whatnot I brought upstairs. So, so anyway, um... I was going to do something over here. Oh, I need some dirt to do this. Well, I only really need one dirt. I've got that in my pocket. So I've got some dirt and some cobblestone and some gravel. Everything else. All these, uh, these are empty. But all the rest of these are just stone, which is kind of crazy. Uh, I already have some dirt, so let's go ahead and do that. And I'm going to build a little... Uh, do I have let's see here I need to make a couple things I've got some pumpkins so let's do this Oops. do this let's make a couple jack-o-lanterns yeah nice um, that was a spooky sound make a uh, sticky piston nice and uh, I'm gonna build I'm going to do this over here. Hopefully this is kind of out of the way. And I plan to do a whole bunch of them. But right now, I'm just thinking one. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to build a little pumpkin farm. And I'm doing this from memory. I should probably go look at my, uh, my creative world. <sighs> but I think this will work. So, I take my regular piston... And I just place it on the ground there. Boop. And then I dig this out. Let's get a pick down here. And get some dirt. Pop. And I pop. Pop. There we go. And put some dirt down there. Yep. And then this dirt is where I'm going to plant. Um, I'm going to put... 
that make sense? Yes. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. So, I'm sorry. I'm, this has got to be frustrating to listen to. So, I'm, I've got three jack-o'-lanterns here. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to place them down so I give some light. Not that it's strictly speaking necessary. But I want it. And that's what I'm going to get. Oh, and yeah. Let's go get some ice in the chest over here. So I only really need one bit of water to hydrate the, the soil there. But you know what? Uh, I'm, I'm going to go overboard. Yes, I am. All right. So you can't place jack-o'-lanterns on top of water. Right? But you can do this. So if I take this ice, I think I can place the ice down there. Break it. Woohoo. And now let's put this up here. Take some of the stone that I've been getting and put it back. Yeah, so so the idea is uh, you have to place the jack-o'-lanterns first. It's a little frustrating. But it's fine. It's the way it is. So if I put my ice there and break it, pop. There we go. Pop, and I can do this one here. Oh, this is going to be interesting. It's okay. Pop. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so now I can get. I brought a hoe, so I can, and that will become nice and hydrated. And I have some. Uh, pumpkin seeds so now I can make bone meal and okay so now before I get too far along that path let's do this so I'm gonna take a sticky piston right let's jump up on here and oh that's right I gotta deal with that too so I want to put a sticky piston here facing up and that is this Ryan it might be in stupid okay and then I'm gonna place a slime block on top of that and then a block of redstone on top of that All right and then I'm gonna take some obsidian and this should look very familiar whoops Right, and then uh, run some redstone down on there. So now, when something updates this piston, like do this, it should then pump this piston. Very good. So then I want to do this and put in a chest right here. Pop, and then I have a hopper. Did I not bring a hopper? Oh, oh, that's really dumb. And I don't think I have the resources down here to make it. I might just not see it. Okay, I got to run upstairs. Now let me check the chest over here first. Oh man. Okay. Hang on, I'll be right back. Okay. <clears throat> As I was saying, and you take a hopper and you place it like that. Okay, very good. So now, we have a little pumpkin farm. I can... Boop. Okay, now we just have to wait. So this is a very minimal pumpkin farm. It can also be used to do watermelons. When this guy actually grows a pumpkin, it'll grow in that space there. It'll update... Uh, this block, a little bud switch here, will cause the piston to fire and push the melon off. Mm. <coughs> Sorry. We'll push the pumpkin off and mm, some of the times, most of the time, it'll, it'll land in this hopper and then flow into this chest. Yeah, I say most of the time. It, it's not, uh, a lot of times the uh, the pumpkin will just kind of sit here on the dirt and it kind of, it happens. It's uh 
it's kind of unavoidable. So I'm using obsidian here just simply because I don't want the slime block to be able to push them. Um, it's just a couple blocks. This block doesn't have to be obsidian, but yeah, I like it being uh, uniform. And when the redstone gets pushed up here, it powers this, this redstone, which trails down here and powers the piston. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple butt switch thing. I'm using the same basic idea in my sugarcane farm up by the village. So this is good. Um, now the cool thing about this is you can just keep building them out. Pop, 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 pop. Just one by itself isn't going to do a lot, but um, if I built 10 of them, it would. So yeah, uh, yeah, and I, I built on my uh, creative server, I built a, uh, I built a bunch of these and I built the uh, another design which I kind of like um, but it's the the mumbo jumbo design uh, basically what he built on the hermitcraft server recently and I am sitting down here and just stash this here um, yeah and I was a little bit no I don't know there's so much so much of the pumpkins and melons just ended up sitting stuck inside the farm on his design. It just seemed kind of wasteful to me. So I built uh, eight of these. So the same number of plants. I built two layers of his and then eight of, eight of these? No, four of these. So half the number of plants, more, more foot space. His is very compact in terms of a uh, footprint. You can build up. Oh, something shiny. I didn't even see this. Um, <laughs> sorry, a little, uh, little ADD there. Um, thank you. So, and then I, then I did a little bit of, well, a little bit of testing. My network performance just took a hit for some reason. I did a little bit of testing and having four of these outperformed his eight plant layout um, by, by a little bit. Not a huge margin, but it certainly works a little bit more effectively, I think. So I'm, I'm thinking of building out, uh, building out a little sort of a little village down here, a little town, so to speak. So they could put in a little path and then put in, in like a little, you know, flower bed area and maybe some, uh, maybe get some villagers down here, pull some from upstairs and build, move my village down here. I think because it doesn't have sky access, it won't count as a village, but I don't care if I have villagers. I think that'll be just fine. Obviously, I have to keep them penned in and, and protected. Um, and then eventually, I have to figure out if this if these are really the slime chunks that are producing. Um, and because then I'll need to protect them from potentially from the slimes. And I was thinking of delighting part of this so that I can get some zombies. Potentially some uh, villager zombies. Zombie villagers. Um, as you can see, this intersects a variety of things. There's some abandoned mine shaft activity going on up here. It's been explored and partially cleared out. But, you know, there's, there's still stuff over here. On the other side over there, there's a ravine that intersects, which is kind of cool. Surprised I haven't seen these slimes yet. Normally I would have several of them by now. So we have a nice little ravine area here. You can see some caves up there. Nice ravine. Boop. Been explored. Um, there's still lava under the floor in parts here. As you can see. We're at lava pool. We are at Y10 right now. And my main mine shaft is over here. But I haven't really done a whole lot of mining because I got plenty of resources out of this. And I have to travel pretty far. And we're starting to run into each other in terms of our mine shafts. 
So I'm not, I don't know, I have to figure out what I'm going to do about that. Tom got frustrated enough because, you know, he's a relative newcomer on the server. And so his, his bridge to nowhere from his lava tower became a, uh, became a bridge to a, to a strip mine. I haven't been out there yet, but he started, he, he ended it. He put a station on the other end and he started mining. So I need to go visit that and see what's up. He is on right now. So anyway, um, that's the, that's my <laughs> underground area. Again, I'm, I'm thinking of digging out another section over there. Um, but I need more beacons. And I need more blocks to put them on. Because I don't want to tear this one down. I, I took off the haste. And um, I put on it speed and regen. You heard that, right? It has to be close. Too far down for it to be the surface. Huh. Unless it's... I've got like... Caverns up... I've got caves up here. Okay, I'm not going to worry about it. Anyway. So that's that. Um, <laughs> as I was saying... Ah, it's kind of creepy so i put speed and regen on the beacon here it's kind of nice and you get uh if you aren't paying attention you get attacked by a, by a giant slime because they can hurt you a little bit it's nice to have the regen and the speed so i don't have to be sprinting everywhere hello are you working yet no of course not it's not going to be a the most productive thing in the world but it will get me some pumpkins so I can make jack-o'-lanterns and I can start tearing down some of these torches and lay out jack-o'-lanterns instead of torches. That's my that's my plan there. So I'm going to put this stuff away here so I can build some more of those. I will need more hoppers. I can bring those upstairs. Okay. So anyway, that will do it for this episode. I just wanted to show you my gargantuan hole in the ground and uh yeah if you have any ideas for what i should do with this over thanksgiving i was down with uh, uh nephew and niece down in san diego and i asked them and they had some ideas they were kind of amusing um what they thought i should build down here so well, i should probably take up this dirt don't want an Enderman screwing up my uh, micro farm. Yeah. So, I guess that's it. Um, I've got other things to show here, but... How did I miss that? Wow. Okay. Um, yeah, I've got other things to show here, but I will, uh, I will save that for next time. And thank you for watching, and I will see you later. All right, bye.